Welcome back. In the last episode, we added loaders to our development workflow. You can start where we left off. So life is getting pretty happy for our developer experience. So far, we've only used part of the real power of JavaScript. We've been limited by the features of JavaScript our current browser can run. When you're developing in Chrome, everything looks peachy. But ship this same stuff to Internet Explorer or Android, and we start seeing syntax errors. Old browsers don't know ES6, the latest version of JavaScript but we still want to use it. Enter transpilers to turn shiny new syntax into totally usable old syntax. Babel is an integral part of Webpack's power, but let's get it set up in our project before I talk about it too much. First things first, in our terminal, let's install Babel core. Next, let's create a Babel RC file. This Babel RC file is a hidden file, technically. It'll reside in the root of our project, and it'll contain the rules that Babel will live by. What features of JavaScript do we want to use with this project? What a strange and interesting question. The Babel website will be crucial to look up tools you may need. The community is large and prolific. Having covered all of JavaScript's various specifications, they went on to write transpiling plugins for various flavors and new languages, all compiling to any other flavor of JavaScript. So for example, let's say we want to use those nifty arrow functions in ES6. In main.js, add the following. Babel provides a plugin for arrow functions. Let's install that and add the plugin to our Babel RC. In our terminal, let's npm install Babel plugin transform. Yes. 2015, arrow functions, as well as the Babel CLI. Babel RC is a JSON file. It contains plugins, and this will take an array of plugins. We only have one for right now. Transform ES 2015 arrow functions. Now let's test it out in the terminal. Type babel and then source main JS. You can see that our ES6 arrow function was converted to an ES5 function. So that's from the command line. Webpack can use this by adding it as a loader. At the top, let's add a loader for JavaScript. So we'll do test JS. And we'll use the Babel loader. Finally, we want to tell it to exclude everything in node modules. So now it's only going to transpile our project code. We'll want to install the Babel loader. All right, let's give it a shot. Looks good. Now what if we wanted to use something like ES6 style imports? That would produce additional code, as it creates a polyfill for browsers that don't support ES6. We'll get more into Babel's polyfill powers in the next episode. See you there.